we are doing the sum of standard costing it is october november 2020 paper paper 32 okay when mm. i see the question it says calculate the amount of direct material used in kilo what so it says calculate the amount of direct material that is used in kilos can mm. you please read the question for me please yeah a uh, xp plc uses a system of standard costing it manufactures and sells one product the following per unit information is available okay. direct materials 2 kilos at 6 dollars per kilo direct labor 4 hours at dollar 10 per hour fixed mm -hmm. overheads 3.5 per direct labor hour okay that what does this mean That the fixed overheads are uh, on direct labor our basis. Lovely, very good. Okay, fine. Then the master budget for March was based on sales of fifteen thousand units at a selling price of dollar hundred per unit. Okay, what does this mean? That uh, the sales were based on like this the budgeted sales of fifteen thousand per unit. So this is master budget. Yeah. Master budget means your standard quantity is fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand units, okay. Mm -hmm. And your standard uh, selling price is hundred. And for other things, it will be something else. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay, fine. Actual sales in March amounted to fourteen thousand units and selling price of hundred and four dollars. So actual sales and act actual quantity is given and actual selling price is given. And actual price is given, yeah. Okay. The materials the materials usage usage variance for month was twenty two thousand eight hundred, which is favorable, and mm -hmm. the materials price variance was thirty six three hundred, which is adverse. Okay. You they've given you the direct material usage variance. And they've given you the direct material price variance. Price variance. That means they've indirectly given you the direct material total variance also. Yeah. Okay. Then the other information is for labor, and other information is for fixed overheads. Yep. Are you with me? Yeah. Now they want you to calculate the amount of direct material used in kilos. They want the direct material used in kilos. Direct material use that means they want you to calculate the direct material usage variance. Yeah. Okay. I know my direct material usage variance. It's twenty two eight hundred. Direct material would be usage, and rate. Yeah. Okay. Usage is what? S R and A Q. Huh. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. So that means it is standard quantity minus actual quantity into SR. The rate. Okay. So direct material usage variance is standard quantity for which production? For actual production. Minus the actual quantity. For actual production. Multiplied by the standard rate. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So now. They want me to find what? The amount of direct material used in kilos. That means they want you to find the actual quantity for actual production. Yeah. In kilos. Hmm. This is the thing that I don't know, which I have highlighted. Yeah, yeah. Direct material usage variance is what? Twenty two thousand eight hundred. Twenty two eight hundred. Yeah. Favorable. Hmm. Now tell me the standard quantity for actual production. Standard quantity for actual production will be um two kilos. Yeah, two kilos. I will use for one unit. Yeah, so then you have to do uh the actual quantity is fourteen thousand. So cross so, multiplication. So for fourteen thousand units, how many kilos will I use? One minute, I'll tell you. Fourteen thousand into two. It becomes twenty eight thousand. Yeah. So I will use twenty eight thousand units for twenty eight thousand kilos. Kilos, yeah, twenty eight thousand kilos 
I will use twenty eight thousand kilos minus actual quantity for actual production. Hmm. What is the standard rate? The standard rate is hundred. Standard rate for direct material. Oh, sorry, direct material. के लिए the standard rate is six dollars. This six dollars very good. Now can I do the cross multiplication and see? Twenty two thousand eight hundred divided by six. Yeah. Yeah. In, into twenty eight thousand. This will be equal to twenty eight thousand kgs. Hmm. Minus actual quantity for actual production. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Now let's see. I will bring this over here. Actual quantity for actual production. Yeah. So actual quantity for actual production is equal to twenty eight thousand kgs minus twenty two thousand eight hundred divided by six. Hmm. Twenty two thousand eight hundred divided by six is how much? One second. Twenty two thousand eight hundred. Thirty eight hundred. It is thirty eight hundred. So actual quantity for actual production would be equal to twenty four thousand two hundred kgs. Yes. Giving you time, just check. Yes. Amount paid per kilo for direct materials. Yeah, tell me. So the direct material price variance ka formula is standard rate minus act minus actual. Actual rate into actual quantity. Standard rate minus actual rate into actual quantity. Okay, then one minute. Price variance is how much? The price variance is thirty three six hundred. No, thirty six three hundred. Sorry, thirty six three hundred. So this is thirty six thousand three hundred. Yeah. Standard rate. Uh, standard rate is six dollars. Actual rate. Not given. I want to find this, right? Yeah. Actual quantity. Uh, actual quantity is twenty four two hundred. Twenty four thousand two hundred. That we just found out. Oh. Correct. Yeah. So now what will I do? You have to do thirty six three hundred, uh, divided by twenty four two hundred, and then you'll get six minus AR. Hmm. Yeah. And then उसके बाद first you do this then I have to think and that AR is equal to I'll just swap it. Six plus. Thirty-six three hundred over twenty-four two hundred. Mm. So the actual rate will be six plus thirty-six three hundred over twenty-four two hundred is how much? Twenty-four two hundred. One point five. The actual rate is seven point five. Oh, this was easy. Hmm. Actual rate is seven point five. Are you with me? Yeah. Can I proceed ahead? Yeah. yeah. Let's read the next part. Now they want labor rate variance and labor efficiency variance. Since they want labor, labor efficiency and labor rate. S R and A Q. Correct. Hmm. Efficiency would be standard quantity minus actual quantity, and rate would be standard rate standard minus rate minus actual rate. Now let's take the labor rate variance. First, I'll write the formula. Just one minute. I'll write the formula. Okay, I'll wait. When we're talking about labor rate variance, rate yeah. that means this part. Hmm. 
so labor weight variance is standard rate minus actual rate into actual quantity into actual quantity yeah what is the standard rate the standard rate is 10 dollars per hour what is the actual rate the actual rate is 10.40 per hour Actual quantity. Actual quantity is um one second fourteen thousand units. Actual hours because you are in labor. Oh yeah, actual hours fifty three two hundred. So you had decided that you will use how many hours? Fifty three two hundred. Hmm. Hmm. And that's it now. Darling, you had decided that you would pay 10. Yeah. You paid 10.4. Yeah. So? Oh, so you are uh, adverse. So you are 0 0.4. Adverse. Hmm. 0 0.4 into 53,200. Yeah, one second. So this is 21,280 adverse. Yeah, 21,280 adverse. Yeah? Mm. Labor efficiency variance. Standard quantity minus actual quantity into standard rate. Standard quantity minus actual quantity into standard rate. But always in volume, you should remember for actual for production. For actual production, for actual production. Yeah. For actual production. Hmm. So standard quantity for you actual need to find In this, you need to find out the amount of labor hours. Okay, no problem. For one unit, standard quantity is four hours. Yeah. Okay. For 15,000 units. So for 15,000 units, your actual units. 15,000 into 4. So X is equal to 60,000. So your standard quantity for actual production is 60,000 hours. Yeah. But your actual quantity is how much? 53,200. Actual quantity for actual production is 53,200 hours. Which is good. It's favorable. Mm. Stand and the standard rate will be uh, $10. So this is how much? $60,000 minus $53,200 into 10. This is what is your actual production, darling? Actual production is 14,000. 14,000 units. Oh, so what is 14, 14, my bad. I got it now. So, 14,000 units. You gave me the standard quantity. Yeah, I didn't speak so much. 14,000 into 4. 56,000. So, this is 56,000. 56,000 minus 53,200. 2,800 into 10. So this is 28,000. 8, Favorable or adverse? Favorable. Favorable. Okay. Don't write dollars next to the adverse, uh, this variance. Yeah, because it's efficiency. Anything. Don't write dollars. Oh, you're not supposed to write at all. Yeah. Okay. Now the next thing that they want from you is they want the actual profit. Hmm. How will you find the actual profit? You have to use the actual quantity which is 14,000 and multiply. Okay. Come on, start. Actual hmm. profit. So first we will come sales. What is sales? Sales is 14,000 into 104. 
Hmm. So this will be one second. Yeah, one million four fifty six thousand four hundred and fifty six thousand. Hmm. Minus direct material. Direct material. Come on, direct materials is how much? Direct material will be 24,200 kg. 24,200, yeah, we found that already. Into 7.5? Hmm, yeah. Yeah? You sure? Yeah, because 7.5 is the kg we found in the other one. 7.5 is the rate per kg. Yeah, one eighty one five hundred direct labor. How much? Fifty three thousand two hundred into ten point four. Yeah, fifty three thousand two hundred into ten point four. It comes up to how much? One minute on the 53 to 80. Oh. Then? Fixed overheads. Now we have been given, we don't know how to calculate fixed overheads. Oh, we have to calculate that one. Hmm. So fixed overheads. Fixed overhead expenditure variance is what? Total, I have to total of both. But fixed overhead expenditure variance is what? Uh, fixed overhead expenditure variance. Is fixed overhead master budget or oh, master budget minus actual budget? Fixed overhead as per master budget. Yeah. Minus fixed overheads. As per actual budget. Minus fixed overheads as per actual budget. Hmm. Fixed overhead as per master budget is how much? 3.50 per direct labor hour. So, I was killing 3.50 per direct labor hour. So, 3.50 per direct labor hour. Per direct labor hour. So, huh. 3.50, what is the standard quantity? Standard quantity is? But I want the standard thousand. quantity for standard production, right? Yeah. So, it will be 3.50. Okay, for direct labor hours. Yeah. So I want the standard quantity for direct standard production, right? Yeah. So 50. Fix overhead as per actual budget is how much? Fix overhead as per actual budget. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's not given. This I want, right? Hmm. Fix overhead expenditure variance is how much? 10,000. 10,000, okay. Now let's see over here. I need standard quantity for standard production, right? Yeah. For one unit, how many hours? For one unit, four hours. So, for uh, how many units? 15,000, right? Yeah. How many hours? Cross multiply 15,000 into 4. 60,000. So, this is the standard quantity for standard production. Hmm. Into 3.5. Into 3.5, yeah. This is 210,000? Yeah. 
so 10000 is equal to Two hundred and ten thousand minus fixed overhead as per actual, correct? Yeah. Okay. So fix overheads as per for actual production. The actual fix overheads would be two hundred and ten thousand minus ten thousand. That will give you. 200,000. 200,000. You should be very through with your formulas. So your actual profit is how much? Actual profit, no. Actual fixed overhead is 200,000. No? Yeah, so you want the actual profit, right? Uh, so this would be 521,220. I will pause. You will do it. Now, what have they asked us? They have asked us to prepare a statement. Okay. To reconcile profit of 476 from flex. Yeah. What is a flex budget? The, assum like the assumption. No, but what is flex budget? Flex budget is like so the flex budget takes into consideration the standard rate into actual quantity. Yeah. So they want to reconcile standard rate into actual quantity, the profit from the flex budget with the actual profit. Yeah, okay. And they are saying your actual profit is how much? Five twenty one two two twenty. That means actual rate into actual quantity is five twenty one two twenty. Yeah. Standard rate into standard quantity is how much? Actual quantity is how much? That is profit as per that budget is four hundred and seventy six thousand. Yeah. So they want you to reconcile. They want you to find the reason, prof. Why is there a difference from profit from flexed budget and profit from actual budget? Actual profit. What okay. is the actual profit? 521220. 521220. What yeah. is the next profit? 476,000. What could be the reason? All these variances. All these variances. The first variance we talk about. Sales. sales sales quantity and sales price. Tell me the actual quantity is the same, right? Yeah. So sales quantity variance will be there. Sales quantity variance. We are going to we have flexed the budget as per fourteen thousand units. Yeah. We have flexed the budget as per fourteen thousand units. Yeah. It's not going to be any variance because of the selling quantity. Okay. But there will be a variance because of the selling price. Yeah. It went from 100. It, it was standard rate is 100 and the actual rate is 104. So the first reason for difference is the sales price variance. Second okay. is material. Direct material. Material usage variance. Yeah. Next would be material yeah. price variance. Oh, yeah, sorry. After that, labor. Labor rate variance. Labor, first I will always write quantity. Okay. Labor efficiency variance. And labor. Rate variance. Rate variance. What else? Then it will come uh, fixed, fixed overheads. Overheads, expenditure variance. And will volume variance come in this? Everything except for sales volume, everything. Okay. Fixed overhead, volume variance. So this is the reason for difference. First, I will write what I know. 
I know material usage variance is how much? Thirty six three hundred. Your usage variance is given to me. Yeah, thirty six three hundred. Darling, read it, na. Usage variance is how much? Twenty two eight hundred. But. Huh. Read. Don't see the MS. I'm I not seeing you. You are 20, seeing the MS. Twenty two eight hundred. I will kill you. <laughs> no. Okay. And then the materials price variance is thirty six three hundred. This will be in bracket. Okay. Fix overhead expenditure variance is given to you directly. Yeah, ten thousand. And fix overhead volume variance is also given to you directly. Fourteen thousand. Labor rate variance you had found out. Yeah. Labor rate variance is two one two eight zero. And efficiency variance. Twenty eight thousand. Labor rate variance is. 2180 adverse. So negative will come. And efficiency variance is 28,000. Favorable. Now sales. Oh. Volume and price. Yeah. SR, AQ. Right? Mm -hmm. Standard rate minus actual rate. Into actual quantity. Standard rate is how much? The standard rate is 100. Actual? 104. So it's going to be favorable? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And actual quantity is? 14,000. So 14,000 into 4? 56,000. 56,000. Once you do all the plus and minus, you start from this figure, you will arrive at this figure. Please check. Okay, wait. Okay. Now, there is other thing. These are theory questions. Hmm. Name two other variances which the directors can calculate if they want to do further analysis of change in fixed overheads. Can you give me fixed overhead variances that you know? Fixed overhead, volume variance, and expenditure variance. Volume variance and expenditure variance. If you want to yeah. do further analysis of this variance, why there is volume variance, why there is efficiency variance, then you do fixed overhead capacity variance and fixed okay. overhead efficiency variance. This is further analysis of fixed overhead. Okay. So if you want to do further analysis of fixed overhead, the reason for variance, it would be fixed overhead capacity variance and fixed overhead efficiency variance. Mm. Right? Yeah. Reason for material price variance. Uh, Can you do material price variance? Yeah, so 36, 300. That means you have bought expensive material. Yeah. Because of this, what has happened? It's adverse. Yeah, so expensive material you bought, but what is the benefit of buying this expensive material? Good quality. That is why usage variance is positive. Can you see this? Yeah. Because you paid extra for the materials, you have used less quantity. Hmm. The price of the material has increased. Reason could be because there is higher material used, higher quality material used, or you have used an expensive supply. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Reasons for material usage variance. What about material usage variance? Material usage, usage variance. Material usage variance is what? Positive or negative? It's positive. It's favorable. Okay. So that you have to write. What is the reason for this positive uh, variance that you have? That less material is being used and the quality is improved. 
you have improved the quality, there is low rate of wastage, or you might say that your laborers are very efficient. Okay. Okay. So with this, we complete October, November 20, paper 32 of standard costing.